The name of the project is the River Valley Prescribed Fire Project, and it's taking place here on Leewat Nation traditional territory. What's unique about this prescribed fire project is its size. We're burning up to 80 to 100 hectares in the River Valley. A burn proponent is a person or group that brings forward the idea of the project, and in this case, it was Lillawatt Nation. There's a history of out of control burning in the past. After one of these fires that were lit naturally, the leadership called us all together for a debrief, and at that debriefing, they had me look into a prescribed fire. Lilwat came forward asking partners to help them do it in a controlled manner so there isn't any emergency situations in the area. The specifics behind this one would be for the safety of the community because we have a number of old log homes that date back to probably 1940s. That adds a bit of complexity where we have to put in quite a bit more prep work to make sure we're protected on all those sides where there are, are values like that. So a prescribed fire program has different steps in it. The first is your planning piece, and that's where we went in and we did our pre-fire effects, because some of that pre-fire effects also will feed into your objectives, as well as your prescription. Is this what we want and how are we going to achieve it? Our pre-meetings are very important, like the calls and the site meeting that we're having today, just to make sure everyone's in the conversation and asking questions so that there's no surprises on, on burn day. So with this project, we'll have anywhere between 40 to 60 people involved, and that's from ground crew to people in supervisory roles. It's been a great project where we've been able to collaborate with a number of different agencies, going back to that objective of just training and continuing education. Fire is, I guess, an extreme way to control it, and we do hope to change that to an agricultural view of controlling it. Pemberton Fire Rescue was here to support the implementation of the burn itself, specifically with extinguishment on the outlying areas around this, the structures, making sure the fire is completely out when it gets to the structure areas. The community engagement is really good. They're able to see the crews from the BC Wildfire Service do their work and they could see the type of dedication they have for that kind of work to get it over and done with safely. It's turned into such a great exercise and learning opportunity to bring everyone together. I think that's what I'm most excited about it is the, the team that we have, the conversations that we have, the planning, the ideas, and then coming together and implementing the burn. It was great to shake hands with everyone at the end of the day when it all went uh, smoothly and safely. A massive takeaway from this project for my team is actually being able to work with live fire environment. Being able to work with the live fire gives you that education and the knowledge of how fire reacts, how fire moves, to be able to take that into any emergency situations to perform better and execute what needs to be done. When you do a fire effects monitoring program, you focus on the objectives that you have laid out in your plan. So for the burn behind us, it was about fuels consumption. How much fuel loading is here? We'll take that pre, we'll take observations during the burn, and then we'll come in after and measure the exact same plots to see if we met the objectives of the burn. So the adaptive management plan is taking what we've learned and changing and adapting to make it better or different for the next time we come through here. I think the land responded great to the fire. Uh, three weeks after the event, you wouldn't even be able to tell that there was a burn that happened. It was completely green and lush in the area that was burnt. I think done in a controlled environment, it is a, a great way to refresh the land. I was surprised at the education I got personally. The camaraderie is, is a beautiful thing and, and working with our neighboring communities of Pemberton and the Upper Valley and the wildfire group is very rewarding. To get to know and have conversation with these folks is a great thing. The original idea of the burning was due to the risk to the community. I believe every time we've burnt that, 
that risk has been lowered.